You know, every fighter has a story. Where did this whole thing begin for you? The Diamond Boy! It all started when I was around uh, 12 years old. My family, my whole family, you know, we come from a you know, Mexican background, so we're, we're huge on boxing, my whole family is. We'd invite all our friends, all our family would have a huge barbecue and, you know, that something to me was inspiring and something that was, you know, motivating, exciting for me. Just seeing the boxers on the big screen, sharing that moment with all my family. And that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to try out for myself. I'm here today and, you know, I'm, I'm getting close to, to that level. So your dad was actually the one that got you into boxing, though. Yeah, he got me into um, the first gym. So I grew up in Bellingham, Washington and that's where I first started. I, just a little local gym there. I started uh, doing boxing for fitness um, just to try it out. You know, I did that for a couple years and then we realized that I had a greater potential. So we actually moved gyms down to, it's called Renton, Washington and it's called Azteca Boxing Club. So I went there for a couple years. After that, we moved to Tacoma which had a great amateur boxing uh, program. So we went to Tacoma, you know, we were there for another couple of years, just training and sparring alongside all these great amateur competitors. And now you're here in San Diego. Correct. What was it like making that transition, having to leave all your family and come here? Um, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty big transition for me coming over here. Um, you know, it's a whole different lifestyle, a whole different city away from my family, but you know, it's a, it's a sacrifice that I was willing to take in order to, you know, get to where I am today. Yeah. So we brought him to the House of Boxing, and as an amateur, we worked with them a couple times. And what was good is, is that we, we gelled together. Uh, he has, he's raised in Washington, so he has like uh, country values, mm -hmm. you know, he's not a city kid, and but he works hard. He's worked hard and he's open. I know that your family means the absolute world to you. Mm -hmm. How have they really helped guide you through this thing, even from far away? My family, there's, I can't complain. You know, I give them, I give them everything. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. You know, especially my father. He, he's helped me a lot through, through the sport, you know, being there supportive uh, financially, morally, emotionally. And my mom as well. I know it's tough on her to see me in, like in the ring. But, you know, they're always there, all my siblings. They're always watching my fights. And, you know, I just give them, I give them a, a special thanks to them. And, you know, through the support of his father, you know, uh, they've done a great job. So when we brought him, I told him, before I make a commitment myself, I want to know the kid. I want to, you know, talk with them and, and just hang out with them and work with them. And it gelled together. My father and I, you know, uh, we love the kid. You are actually starting your own little family. Congratulations on your future little champ. Thank um, you. And I actually talked to Sandra and she had a little message for you. This is the secret that I've been working on for the past couple days. I just want you to know how incredibly proud I am of you. I know that sometimes you feel your hard work goes unnoticed, but I promise you that it doesn't. I noticed I may not actively be there in the gym to see your hard work, but I see it at home. And it's very hard to see you hurting and there's nothing that I can do about it. Or when you're starving and all I want to do is feed you and make you fat and happy, but I can't. <laughs> and you've just made so many sacrifices to get to where you are today. One being
I see you um, getting emotional. What did that message mean to you? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know, that means the world to me. Um, to, you know, to have a, a girlfriend like that who's supportive. Um, I know she loves me very much. Um, you know, I give, I give huge thanks to her because I understand her. She sees me in pain sometimes and uh, there's nothing that she can do, but you know, um, just, just a huge special thanks to her, a huge hug, a huge kiss for her. And I'm very excited to be, for her to be the mother of my child. I'm, you know, I'm very grateful for her and you know there's there's nothing that there's nothing I wouldn't change when you found out you were having a son what was that moment like for you it was pretty intense you know it was very emotional you know it was a whole bunch of different thoughts running through my head you know what am I gonna do what is she gonna do yeah. it was very nerve-wracking but but also very exciting you know I'm very excited to have my own little champ you know I hope that one day uh, he takes, he follows my footsteps and becomes, you know, greater than me. I want him to be better than me. Well, you're with him a lot of the time. How do you instill those values and, you know, continue to make him humble? Because with this business, you can, you can either go one way or the other. Yeah, and what's what's really good is uh, those values were already instilled. The, the foundation was already done by his father and his mother. He comes from a, uh, a great family that support him. And so when he got with us, we were just the supportive role, and uh, we spent a lot of time with them. You know, there's we were we were talking about it today. You know, uh, there's times where, you know, he's hungry and he has to make weight, but everybody sees when we're walking into the weigh-ins with our nice uniforms on. Everybody wants to be a part of that, mm -hmm. but they don't understand the stuff that goes behind the scenes just to get to that point. In Kevin's situation, uh, he's not a headache. I, we don't run a babysitting service. He knows what he has to do to win. And so with those values, it makes our job a lot easier. And, uh, and, and uh, we get motivated to work even harder as well. Man, my, my hat's off to, to Coach Carlos. You know, um, you know, not only is he my coach, um, but you know, he's a, he's a mentor. You know, he, he gives me some, some great life advice. He's, he can be a psychologist sometimes too. And you know, he, I see him as a great friend as well, and you know I think that's that's a very important relationship to have um, as a coach. You know, have that trust, have that friendship, and being able to to come to him for for anything, for for advice, and he's for me to be the man that I am today.